you can get a piece of my love. Oh, boy, 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 boy. What a mess. What a mess. When we practice to deceive a tangled web, we <laughs> will weave. Y'all remember that? You know, this letter it came out of Atlanta Black Star, this this uh, article. And in light of everything now that is going on, this time, you know, Puffy got another charge. And, you know, it's like every time you see them, you're going to start wanting to go, Ugh. Ugh. It, you know, this is what's happening with uh, Sean, John, Piffy. Okay. Because I, I already throw up every time I see his face. The disgusting, the physical disgusting display. And uh, uh, got the nerve to be somebody's daddy. Got the nerve to have daughters. Got the nerve to m think that people thought that you respected them in any way because I know you don't. I know you don't respect your mama. I ain't going to go back into this again. I wish we could pick up some of that stuff. Because y'all is just done went too crazy. Way too crazy. Anyway, R&B bad boy Aaron Hall is back in the spotlight in light of a slew of celebrities being accused of sexual assault cases filed in New York. On November 23rd, the songwriter, along with Diddy, Jeffrey Records, MCA Music Entertainment, was named in a petition accusing the artist of simultaneously graping two women in either 90 or 91. You can get a piece of my life. See, and I know what a lot of y'all are thinking. Oh, no. Oh, oh, they all lying. They all lying. Let me tell you something. Um, Everybody don't operate like this. Only sleaze bags do. Let's let's get that straight. So until I see some of the um artists like, you know, James Ingram, God bless his soul, um, involved with these kind of things, I never heard it. Okay? So what that shows you is that not everybody operates off this type of stimulus. These guys were dirt bags. Period. Okay. An unnamed accuser claimed that she and her friend attended an MCA party where they met Hall and Diddy. Jane Doe described the men as being very flirtatious and handsy and supplying them with alcohol before inviting them back to Hall's apartment for the after party. Shut up. Y'all is just insane. Y'all was out there bad. And while at Hall's apartment, Jane Doe was offered more drinks and was coerced into having sex with Combs. And, okay, I can understand that one. And I'm going to even excuse. I'm going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You thought she was doing something, huh? Until after Combs finished doing his business, Jane Doe laid in the bed, shocked and traumatized. How? How? I don't, well, I'm not going to get into that. I don't, um, I, but she was, was in the process of getting dressed and Hall barged in the room, <laughs> pinned her down and forced Jane Doe to have sex with him. Please excuse me laughing because I'm definitely not laughing at what has happened. I'm laughing at what the hell was really going on in y'all minds? Even the, to the women. Okay? What the hell? And for somebody to bust in the room like Kool-Aid Monster 
and then think that it's okay. Well, again, what's this song? You can have a piece of my life. Oh. Now, in the wake of these damn allegations, there's a video going on, an uh, audio. Aaron, 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 you in, you in trouble. You, you just, you in trouble because you are sick. And you like to... You like to do stuff in public. And you like for them niggas to see how you do that. You speak to Jodeci or Puffy, any of them Negroes. They've been in my house. They all seen me get down. Y'all know what he said. I'm just saying, what kind of sane, insane person. No wonder Teddy Riley didn't want to mess with you. I mean, he was like, he was embarrassed by some of that stuff. And uh, you, you ain't never heard Teddy Riley talking like this. At least I haven't, ever. This is insane for a group that tried to show a little sophistication because I'm going to tell you, I know that R. Kelly jacked his whole style. That I can tell you. But at the end of the day, this kind of um, put you in a category of, oh, Lord, yeah, you too. You're going to be in trouble. You was very uncouth and just disrespectful and Sick in your mind to think that that that's impressive, that how big your genitals are. <laughs> oh my God! And you are old, Negro. Coke is a terrible thing. I mean, it's a terrible thing. Because what you did is you gonna you gonna put your um your shit right out there back again that you are old man and listen to you and how you is disgusting. Uh, anyway, it's the way Hall's nasty, uncouth ass bragged about Diddy being in a room. While he did his business. He's gross as fuck too. Wrote an ex-user. In another portion of the interview. The former guy band member. Rehashed how he met. My former model Gloria Valles. Valles. I just grabbed her hand. And went inside the hotel. And gave it to her. I ain't know she was a puppy. She was tall, big, blonde hair. I was like, I'm getting that, said Hall about Velez, who was a teenager during the encounter, and the pair welcomed their son when Velez was 17, and Hall was in his 30s. Totally, totally disgusting. And since you done told on yourself, since you done told on yourself, you already know. You already know. Anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm, mm -mm, I'm just done with y'all. And whatever happens to y'all, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. When the moon is in the seventh house. And Jupiter lies with Mars. Then peace will guide the planet. And love will fill the stars. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. 
age of Aquarius. Y'all believe it now? All this stuff is coming out. And like my mama used to tell me, what's done in the dark will come to the light. All right, let me, how y'all think, what y'all think about these, this damn, oof, disgusting dude? And do, or do you think, um, you know, this woman is lying and she just wants, uh, <laughs> I mean, leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next video.